If you want a really easy way to find the right keywords to be found on Google for your business, we're starting right now. If you want to transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm Wes McDowell, web strategist for The Deep End, and if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, you're not gonna wanna miss out, so just go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you never miss another video you need to succeed online. Okay, so one of the best ways to get people to your website and into your business is through Google searches but you need to understand what people are actually searching for that intersects with what you can offer them. And that's where keyword research becomes really important. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my exact method for finding those keyword phrases that get enough traffic to be worth it and are low enough competition to realistically be able to ever rank for. Because trust me, the last thing you wanna have happen is to spend hours of your time creating content that nobody is even looking for, or that you have to spend you know, thousands of dollars and years to actually get onto that first page of Google if it ever gets there. Now, before we get started, I wanna kinda of go over, there's basically two kinds of keyword phrases uh, that you can think about. The first one has buyer intent. So that's basically them searching for exactly what you offer or what you sell. And the second is research intent. So this is where they're basically looking for content that is related to your niche or what you offer. Now, of course, direct buyer intent is great, you know, because that means they're actually looking for what you're gonna sell them, they find you, and then they become a customer. But it's limiting, because not everybody is gonna be looking for those words. So what you wanna do is focus on those direct buyer intent keyword phrases, plus creating valuable content that people can find you through, which leads to them trusting your advice or tips, which then leads to more opt-ins and ultimately sales for your business. And I can actually use the deep end as a good example here because we offer web consulting, strategy, and then conversion focused websites. Uh, but not that many people are searching for those terms. But here's the thing, hundreds of thousands of people uh, every month search for terms related to customer generation websites, like how to increase traffic, how to increase conversions, and even how to do keyword research. And it's true, a lot of those people will never actually end up hiring us, but a certain subset of the people that come for that kind of content, they come to trust the advice and the tips that we give them, and eventually they see the value of actually hiring us to do it for them. You know, think of it like the freemium model, which is basically you give away something valuable for free, but if you want something even more valuable, you have to pay for it. All right, but that's enough background for now. Now we're gonna get tactical, and I'm gonna show you a free tool you can use to uncover the best keyword phrases that you should be trying to rank for for your own website. So let's go on over to the computer. Okay, so here's the main tool we're gonna to use. It's called kwfinder.com. Um, there are paid plans, but the good news is uh, on the free plan, you basically get five free searches every day, which, you know, if you're a small business, that's probably fine. You know, just start small, and then every day, maybe you can uh, maybe come up with a few new ideas. So up until recently, it used to be much harder to do this. You'd have to go to several different websites, or you'd have to have a really expensive subscription to really get this going. So I really like how easy KW Finders made it to basically be a one-stop shop for all this stuff you're going to need to do to find your keywords. So the first step is you're just gonna go up to create a new account. So go ahead and do that and then we can get started. Okay, so here we are kind of in the main dashboard area when you first sign in. Um, so the first step we wanna do before we actually find keywords is you wanna know basically how powerful your site is, meaning how competitive are you allowed to be with these keyword terms? If you're in a really authoritative site, you can go after uh, the higher money keywords if you're smaller or if you're brand new, you, you wanna know that as well so that you can really gauge your own website against the competition to know what you realistically have a chance of ranking for. So in order to do this, we're gonna go away from uh, this tab here and we're gonna go to Site Profiler. So then in here, you're just gonna enter in your website's domain. I'm just gonna use a, a current client of mine. Okay, then you're gonna go and click on Analyze. Okay, so it gives you a bunch of scores here. So basically what we're looking at is domain authority is a, is a score 
that the company Moz came up with. It basically says how authoritative or how powerful is your entire site? You know, that's the whole domain. So it's give it's a score out of 100. Uh, 30 is actually pretty good. It sounds like a failing grade, but um, for a small business, 30 is actually really, really good. And page authority is also 30. And that's basically the same thing, except it talks about just this one web page, not the site itself. And citation flow is basically a score of how many links do you have to your site? Because with SEO, it's really important to have backlinks from other websites pointing at your site. It's just a big signal to Google that you're such a good website and such a good resource that people want to link to you. So citation flow talks about the quantity of links, whereas trust flow talks about the quality of those links. And while we can talk about how good or bad any of these scores are, what really matters is what the competition is you're up against. So basically in the next step, we'll be able to see exactly who's in that top 10 and what their scores are, so you have a good idea where you stack up in, re in relation to them. Okay, so once you know these scores, I'd go ahead and write those down, and then let's go back up to kwfinder.com. Now what this site really allows you to do is it lets you start with certain keyword phrases that you think you want to be found for. You know, if you're a personal trainer, you might want to be found for a personal trainer and then the name of your town. If you're an interior designer, it would be the same thing. It'd be interior design, your town. So basically come to the table with a few ideas of what you think you want to be found for. And then what this allows you to do is allows you to put those in and then it gives you suggestions that you can filter through based on how many people are actually searching for those words and then how competitive those words are. So you'll see what I mean in a second. For this example, let's go ahead and put in Yoga Studio Naperville. Naperville is just a suburb here in Chicago. Um, so basically, it allows you to do a few extra things as well. It allows you to uh, determine where the search is going to be. You know, in a lot of cases, people will isolate this to your own country. Um, here, I'm not going to bother because I doubt too many people out of the U.S. are looking for a yoga studio in Naperville, Illinois. Um, and you can also use whatever language you want or any language. Um, English is the default here. I'm just going to go ahead and keep that. Um, so click find keywords and let's see what they give us. Okay, so this is pretty good news. So basically the first thing you're going to look at is you're going to want to see this com competition score or SEO difficulty score. And they make it really visual for you because you may not know what the numbers mean, but they'll tell you um, with the color coding and they'll say it's, it's a pretty easy keyword term to rank for. And they also show you, which is really handy, all of the people that are currently ranking, and you know, one through 10, uh, th this is your competition. You know, if you're a yoga studio in Naperville, these are the guys you wanna beat. And it not only tells you who they are, but it gives you that domain authority score, the page authority score, you know, the citation flow, trust flow, all those things that we talked about, as well as, you know, Keyword Finder, their, their parent company, Mangools, has developed basically a proprietary al algorithm where they look at all this stuff and they basically came up with a link profile strength score, uh, which they assigned to each one of these. So when you look at all the information, you get a good sense of what you're up against. So you'd want to take your own score that you wrote down and really ask yourself, okay, can I realistically uh, find myself in these results or do I need to keep looking for other keyword opportunities that might be a little easier for me? Which brings us to the suggestions over here on the left. So basically, um, there's a lot of stuff this tells us, which is great. It tells us how many people in the designated area, which in this case is anywhere worldwide, um, who speak English, how many people have do this search every single month? You know, for Yoga Studio Naperville, it's 90 people, which is not a whole lot. You might want to choose a different keyword that has more volume, or you might want to add to it with different variations of this to kind of go after more of that traffic. So it tells you how many people search, and this one is actually pretty powerful, the cost per click. It tells you basically, you know how when you search in Google, you always see the ads at the top? That's always a really good indication that this is a buyer intent keyword phrase that people are actually willing to pay for. And you know, they wouldn't be willing to pay for it if it didn't bring them money in on the back end, right? So the fact that people are willing to pay for this phrase is a good thing. You know, if there was ever a, set, a case where this was zeroed out and there was no, people weren't paying for it, I would shy away from that one because that tells me historically, uh, people have not seen a good return on that keyword phrase. But let's go down. So we've got here uh, Yoga Naperville, 
which has quite a few more searches. That's 720 a month. Um, and it's not saying the difficulty score, so let's go ahead and uh, click on this magnifying glass. Sometimes it makes you do that. Not sure why. Um, okay, and it's still a 15, so it's still easy. So being that easy and having 720 monthly searches, I like those odds, and I think this is really a good money keyword uh, if, if this is the kind of business you're in. So I would probably really take this one and run with it. And then I look over here and I look at the competition. So uh, the guy in the first spot, Hot Yoga Naperville, has a domain authority of 19 and a page authority of 27. These are fairly good scores, but they're not insurmountable. You could definitely, with a little bit of work, get to a point where you're higher than this. And even if you don't, if your content, if you basically are able to build a better page that better serves the need, you will even outrank this person. So these scores are kind of a rough place to start with. The other big factor is really what you're bringing to the table with your own page and how much better can you do it than the other guys. And so what I like to do for any given page is have one focus keyword, you know, which is the primary one you're gonna go after. Uh, and in this case, I'd probably say it's Yoga Naperville. So I'm, I'd want you to go ahead and click this little box. Um, it basically adds it to the list. And then also go through and choose, you know, three or four secondary keyword phrases that you might also wanna rank for that you can also include on your page. Because at the end of the day, it's all about really stacking these keyword phrases. Back a few years ago, Google had a really hard time doing this. You know, back a few years ago, you'd probably want one page dedicated to Yoga Naperville, then another page for Bikram Yoga Naperville. Um, but it's not that way anymore. They've gotten much better at understanding overall topics of a page. So if you can use these keyword phrases on your page strategically, you can actually rank for multiple keyword phrases on the same page. So let's go ahead and just add a few more to the list. Hot yoga videos we wouldn't want because that's not really geographically relevant. So I wouldn't do that. Yoga classes in Naperville, Illinois. Uh, it's okay. It's only got 30 a month, but we can just for this purpose, we'll, we'll click on that. And then maybe uh, Hot Yoga Naperville has quite a few people there. So let's go ahead and just, we'll call this our list. So we've got all these highlighted. And then you would just click on this button, add to list. And then name it. Okay, so once you've named it, just click create list and add keywords. Then you can keep going if you want. And then when you're done, you can just go down here and click export. And then you can uh, either copy the keywords to the clipboard on your computer, or you can ex export a spreadsheet of them. It's up to you. And before we get going here, I do wanna show you one extra thing here. So basically there's a filter you can use as well, um, which basically allows you to not have to see all of these things. You can basically filter it by uh, difficulty or how many people are searching. So let's click on that. And it allows you to uh, make a, a minimum search volume. Let's say you don't want any keywords that get less than 100 searches per month. And let's say, you want a keyword difficulty of nothing more than 20. And then you can go through and maybe, uh, you know, there's, there's certain words that you may want to make sure are always included. Like in this case, it might be Naperville because you want to really weed out any results that are just general yoga because that probably wouldn't really benefit your, your own yoga studio in Naperville. And then excluded keywords, maybe something like jobs or salary because a lot of times you'll find a lot of the, the searches will be about people looking for work uh, at your studio versus looking to become a client. So uh, maybe you wanna include those, exclude those, and then you would just click on set filter and then it would just show you all those results. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty easy and this is a great all-in-one solution that I highly recommend. All right, so I hope that gets you excited to see, you know, there are some steps involved, but it's really not rocket science and it's not really hard to do this yourself. And the good news is your competition probably isn't doing it, giving you the advantage. But now I wanna hear from you and I wanna know what your biggest takeaway was from this video, or if you have any extra uh, keyword finding tips that I didn't cover that maybe have worked great for you. So just leave any uh, questions you have or any of that in the comments below. I will look at everything and I'll answer any questions that I possibly can. All right, and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, you're not gonna wanna miss out. So go ahead and click the circle icon right down here. 
to subscribe. And if you're ready to step up to a more strategic customer generation website, uh, I'd like to talk to you about it. Let's have a free strategy session just between you and me. And you can get that by clicking this box right over here. All right, guys, I'm Wes McDowell for The Deep End, and I'll see you in our next video.